It's your boy Sector Made It, and today I'm back with another tutorial. Today I want to demonstrate a little cool trick that I've been using for quite some time, and it's about samples. So there are times where you get a sample and then it doesn't really fit into the vibe of the song. But then um, as it keeps playing, maybe two two seconds makes sense, um, maybe the five seconds makes sense, but then you really need an entire loop to make it really fit the vibe that you already have. And it becomes a hassle. So I discovered a cool trick. Or let me say I've been using a cool trick that I think um, I would love to share with you. So let's just dive into it. So in this project, I have this beat and then this is the sample anyway. So I would play the beat without the sample and then I'll put the sample back in and then I'll, I'll start the whole process afresh. So you know what I really did. <laughs> So this is the sample and this is a lead guitar basically doing some riffs to enter into the chorus. So this is how it sounds. Now what was the problem initially? This was the full guitar loop. So let me play from here. Let's see. So on the first play, the only part that was really making sense was this part. But then I really wanted this part so bad that uh, I decided to tweak it a little bit. So this is how it sounds once again. So what do I do? I know the key of my song and then I know the key of the loop. But then I need to tune or retune the guitar playing to make it fit the vibe. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this parts into like this, yeah. So we can get rid of this. So let's push this one to like minus 100 means I'm dropping a one semitone. Another 100 cents means I'm dropping a one semitone. So I'm going to change the tone of the guitar until it really fits the vibe. So let's drop a minus two and see. Perfect, right? Now, but then what happens? It is going to affect the whole guitar. This this one now changes tone. So you see that it becomes a problem. So what do we do? We let's reset this and then make this one unique. All the cuts that we did, we are going to make each and every one unique so that we can basically edit them individually. So now I can pitch it down minus two hundred cents. So I can split this one into two again. So let's split this one into two. So let's drop this maybe, let's mark this as unique first. And then let's drop this maybe minus two or one to see if it really fits. Now maybe this one goes up one. Let's see minus two. Oh, let's take. Sorry about this one. Perfect, right? Perfect. So we can literally, or we can basically do some fine tuning. Um, I like the little um strike here. But then I wouldn't want it to fit into this one. But I like the strike there. So let's keep it. Let's keep it there. And then um, let's do another strike here. Let, let's take out the strike there. Mm -hmm. 
let's see how this sounds if it makes sense we can leave it no so i i really don't like the beginning so let's take this one let's see how it enters yeah And uh, let's fine tune this one too. So, if you're wondering what effects are on this guitar, um, let's go to the channel. Let's go to channel 23. So, I had the the individual cuts routed to um, this guitar bass so let's go through the effects chain the first thing that i put on is the reverb let's just go through the guitar alone uh let's take the reverb off and then listen to how it sounds So the reason why I put another reverb on this guitar is to keep the sustain. So you notice I cut out this part. So I really needed to keep that sustain. So I just put on a reverb to enhance the tail a little bit. Yeah, so you can definitely feel the sustain. Rather than losing everything when there's no reverb. You hear you hear so yeah that's that's basically it. and i added delay to also enhance the tail once more and then i decided to eq it so this is my eq and then finally my tube um tube uh how do you call it compressor so let's go So this really makes the guitar feel like it is part of the room that we created the whole music rather than me bringing it from somewhere else into the project. So this is how everything sounds together. So if you like the video that you watched and you think it was helpful, just give me a like, comment, share, subscribe. It's your boy Sector Made It. I'm out.